Well, if you've got a smartphone and even once posted an online picture, you need to know about a new threat. This is something. New technology can allow hackers to track down you and your kids, even from a simple email. Russ. Mark and Elizabeth, the technology allows strangers to cherry pick from online pictures posted all over the web and then find the home, work, or even school of that person in the pic. Perfect. Just like that. Ready? One, two, three. Good girl. We gave NBC Action News staffer Suzanne McDonald and daughter Lainey a smartphone. And a big smile towards mommy's face. Yeah. To see just how threatening a seemingly innocent snapshot Beautiful. could be once loaded online. That's frightening. We then combed Twitter and sites like Facebook, Craigslist, and Photobucket searching for locals. We found a menu of nearby children and, with the click of a mouse, their locations. That is legitimately terrifying. It's a new and frightening threat to parents. So we right-click, then we hit that data file. Mm, that's the program. And the full threat is even an unknown to many Internet crime experts. Had you ever seen it go this far before? No. No. Uh, Officer Mark Chuddick calls the hidden threat today's biggest risk online. It's probably going to be number one for a while. And that's where she was when that picture was taken. That's incredible. Remember Lainey? We used the technique to map her bedroom. Scary. Like, terrifying. We found not only Lainey's home, but located her daycare, favorite fast food shop, and right down to the specific part of the park where she plays. Especially as a parent, because the fact that you can see the exact place of it. At UMKC, computer science professor Deep Medi says smartphones leave a high-tech invisible trail using the same geo-tracking technology that enables the social network Foursquare and handheld map apps. Exactly like in your GPS device in a car, the way you do it, it can tell you exactly where it is. Medi shows how free, easily obtained browser add-ons can translate that data into maps. Well, exactly that spot where the picture was taken. The site ICanStalkYou.com repost pics from unwitting Twitter users in real time, translating their photos into actual addresses and maps. The site also has a how-to on deactivating geotagging on the iPhone, BlackBerry, Google Android, and Palm. Do you want to be able to do almost on a picture basis? With this online bedroom pick, we were able to find the home of these Olathe brothers. Hi, I'm Rose Potosik. I'm with NBC Action News. Their startled mom didn't want to talk on camera. No, thank you. Off camera, we warned her, and she changed their online settings to private. Until then, the location of her kid's bedroom, their hangout, and their school were all available to anyone online. Basically, what you're doing is you're telling the bad guy where I live, where I recreate, my likes, my dislikes, what my mom or dad look like, where I live. I mean, the online mapping is phenomenal. Give me a smile, pretty girl. Experts say you can still be perfectly safe just by turning off GPS setting on pics you plan to post online. Perfect. So before you post another picture online, yes. what you want to do is get into your phone and you want to get into your settings. So you'll go into your settings and you'll get to where that GPS is controlled, which is your location services. You can turn all of your location settings off, but that would also affect your maps and everything else. So you could specifically go right to what controls your camera and turn that off. Once you do that, every picture that you take then will be safe. No one can tell where that photo was taken and where you were. That is so alarming. It really is upsetting. Right after this <laughs> really, the, the more technology is great, the more we seem to expose ourselves to so many things. So, very good story. An Thank easy you. fix. An easy fix. Oh. We have good more information online. Can we leave and do it right now? I know. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Russ. Thank you, Russ. Appreciate it.